Anticipation is still a really important uh, phenomenon in, in myotonic dystrophy. And we know now quite a lot about how the number of repeats changes from one generation to the next. But one of the real big problems we have is interpreting what that's going to actually mean for individuals. Because the number of repeats doesn't give rise exactly to a specific phenotype. We know that on average, the more repeats an individual has, the earlier the age of onset, the more, se the more severe the symptoms will be. But there's quite a lot of error associated with that, that we can't make very accurate predictions in terms of the likely disease severity based on measuring the number of repeats. So one of the observations that came out of our work when we first started doing it, but more it's made in other labs as well, was that the repeat wasn't just changing from one generation to the next, it was also changing throughout the lifetime of the individual and changing in muscle cells and in blood cells and probably in nearly all of the tissues in the body. And it turns out that again that that's mainly biased towards expansion, so the number of repeats is changing throughout the lifetime of the individual and it's gradually getting bigger as the individual gets older. And it's very likely that the number, the number of repeats changing throughout the lifetime has compromised our ability to interpret the standard genetic test where we're just measuring the average number of repeats at one point in time. So the number of repeats is constantly changing, so the number of repeats you measure will depend on how old the individual is when they were sampled. So what we spend a lot of our time now doing is understanding not what's happening from one generation to the next, but what's happening throughout the lifetime of the patient. So one of the things that we've been able to show is that by trying to estimate how many repeats an individual had when they were born, that provides us with a more accurate measure of how likely the symptoms are going to be later in life.